Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this tutorial is basically a bit, a bit uh, refresh, a bit recap about what we did in the last tutorial. Uh, because, well, this is to make the base strong and a bit more about classes and objects and how they behave. Now, previously we had a person class. So in this tutorial, we are going to create another class and then we are going to use that class in the person class. So well let's just make it so I'm just gonna right click new Java class and I'm gonna create a class called address now what the address class is gonna have is the is it's gonna have a an array of addresses right so well basically the main aim to do this is to get hang of well how class actually how objects actually work and to give you a better understanding of that so the address class is going to have attributes like address line one address line two city and country ball or string so i'm just going to make it public string uh, one uh, i'm just going to copy that address line two public okay and I'm just gonna make a class constructor just public address okay and in the class constructor I'm gonna put Okay, so I've got line one, line two, city, country, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign them back to the uh, attributes of ad address, which is, and now as you notice, in this I'm not not doing this dot address line one equals line one because address line one would mean that it's this. In the previous, in the person class, what we had was that this. This uh, this the, this thing variable name was same as that, so uh, so we had to explicitly specify that the variable name here that I'm referring to is the class variable, is the instance variable, and this one I'm referring to is a local variable. Well, oh yeah, this is another thing that we need to talk about. Local variable is is found in a method. I mean. In here, name is a local a local variable. I can create another local variable called int count. Now, the count is another local variable. However, anything outside method, but inside the class, is an instance variable because it can be accessed globally within the class. So that's the main difference. And if local variable and instance variable are same, you can have them same. Then you need to explicitly specify what variable is what so in this case I've done this dot name that would mean that this is the instance variable and that is the local variable and as you see the instance variables are colored green and local variables are just black are just colored black so uh, that's the main difference between uh, instance variable and local variable now in the address we, we don't have the instance variable I mean in 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 the address class the the name of the local variable is not same as the name of the instance variable, so we don't need this dot something because it's because this implied. So now in here I have to do this dot city equals city because they, uh, because they both are called are uh, same name. If I remove this, it's gonna is gonna assume that it's the you are referring to the local variable and that's good that gives you this line which says assignment to itself that's not possible so this dot city and this dot country okay so now that we have instantiated the class what I'm gonna do is it's gonna make a method uh, public uh, wide a print address it's not going to take anything I'm just gonna say system to out a print line uh, that address line one plus uh, comma and that's new line 
class address line two class that class city class I don't need that actually. Okay. So this is gonna print the values that have been passed in a in a more um, readable order which is address line one comma address line two comma city and then country well that's it for the address class we're going to move back to the person class now a person can have address but the person can have multiple addresses like the past address and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we're going to create an array of address of type address so that means the array is going to hold objects of type address so it's going to be address address then as you define your string array it's the same as you did you define this so address this uh, address this equals uh, well for now nothing and here we we're gonna do is we're gonna say that please pass us an, an address array so uh, we're just gonna say address addresses so what we're gonna do is in the, in the class constructor we are asking the developer or the user rather to pass the array of addresses and in the implementation of the class we, we are now getting an error because we've changed the class constructor but you can have an address array so address addresses equals new address so and uh, equals new uh, address and then it's gonna have this and, and I'm gonna define a new address here so that's gonna be new that's an address object and that and if I press this it gives me help line one is a blah blah road blah flat blah road blah, London London UK okay and in this thing I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna pass the addresses so currently in the addresses are I only have one address. So what we're gonna do basically is that I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna add one more address. Oh man. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be uh, some flat some some uh, road uh, uh, Florida I can't think of anything. USA. Okay. So now David has got two addresses. So obviously the most recent one would be the first address. However, we're gonna try to. We're just gonna do one thing. We're just gonna. Uh, we're not gonna ask him to say hello this time. We're just gonna print the addresses in the command prompt by using p dot addresses uh, zero dot print address. So this is gonna print the first address and then I'm just gonna do one to print the second address okay so let's go through what's happening here first of all I'm defining an array of addresses and in the array of addresses I'm putting the first address is black flat black road London UK and the second address is some flat some road Florida USA then I'm assigning that addresses array into the class constructor of person and uh, and by doing that, I'm creating a new person object with, with the with or with these addresses, with these two addresses. So now, person object contains an array of objects of type address. That we understand. So it's a, it's a person object containing an array of other objects. And well, basically, what I'm gonna what I'm doing here is that I'm just gonna print. I'm just printing the first address and the second address by doing this. So let's run the application and let's see if we get addresses here blah 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 flat. Oh. Hmm, this is very strange. I'm getting a null pointer exception.
Never tried doing it again. Um. Ah, uh, I know why. Well, we have added the parameter address array here, but we haven't assigned this back to this, back to the instance variable. See, so small mistakes can cause, I mean, errors like at this. And, well, <laughs> okay. So, let's run this again, and we should be able to act. Oh, yes, we have them. Blah flat blah road London UK. That's the first address, and that's the second address. So in this way, you can you can in this way object orientation is really helpful in having objects inside objects inside objects inside objects. This is you you can just go on and on. I don't know, and and I would show you if I'm if I'm gonna have if I have some more spare tutorials to do, I'll show you my algorithms course work because I've 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 like had a, an, an, an array inside an object and then that's that's in an array of objects which is inside another object so that's really great I mean and well that was that was the, uh, the, um, the I think that I'm proud of doing so well yeah so and so I hope this tutorial clarified your your um, thoughts about object orientation and if you have any problems just comment down below or comment on my blog codeninjutsu.blogspot.com and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial which was would gonna which is gonna be an important one about object orientation it's gonna be about interfaces and stuff like that so I'll see you guys later bye bye and have a nice day and 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 enjoy and enjoy creating objects inside objects <laughs>